It is the best summer ever. 13-year-old Mason Morris has already been on two trips, played a lot of baseball, and hung out with all of his friends. But it gets even better. On Thursday morning, he got to hang out with some of the guys who helped save his life. It's just not a normal kid would get to talk to these fire departments. It's just awesome. Mm -hmm. it, I love it. Yeah, two, of the, two of the guys here were actually on the call. You know, just going back to that day and then being here today, you know, shaking hands and talking, having a good time, it's, you know, it's, it's a good feeling. Mason suffered severe burns over 85% of his body after a cup of gas ignited last summer while he and his father Aaron were killing weeds in their lawn. Mason spent over 100 days in Akron Children's Hospital Burn Center and his recovery has been astounding. So great that he's having the best summer ever but it just keeps getting even better. This is fire truck day. About a dozen fire units from all over the region converge on Portage Lakes Park to form a gauntlet of trucks and make their own rain. The guests of honor, children from Akron Children's Burn Camp, along with a camp for children who are amputees. And for Mason, not a bad way to end the summer. I love it. <laughs> How many more Tommy times you gone sorry. through? Four. How many times you went through? Twice. Twice? Oh, yeah. you know, you gotta wait for the foam pit. That's I know, that's what I'm excited for. Oh, yeah, the foam pit. <laughs> Think of it as a giant truck full of sudsy goodness. Mountains of foam up to five feet high, courtesy of the Akron Fire Department. For these children, this summer party is not only a fun time, but a celebration of life. When a child is ill, their fun days turn into doctor's appointments, hospital visits, and the changes that injuries bring to their lives and their families. But to make it to this far, where they can just play outside again, is just what the doctor orders. Burn injuries themselves are unique because different from so much of what we take care of in medicine, they wear their scars. So they have to really become resilient, really be superheroes to, to get back into society. So this is part of that recovery. And it's a recovery that all of the children are eager to make. Mason goes back to school in about a week and a half where he's ready to start wrestling again. But he also knows he's got a team of folks who helped him get back to being just a kid again. I feel amazing. 